Steve Wallback has found a great source of encouragement from God through Family Radio. He is replaying this message using his version, and is not affiliated or connected in any way with Family Radio WKDN, 9.50 a.m. in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Check out the site to hear many other stories like this one, because of the profound stories Steve wants to share them with others. And now the story, where there is no struggle, there is no virtue. Today we are bring another video to you for encouragement. This is remixed from its originally version from Family Radio. Now, there's something very fascinating about the way God designed some of his creatures. One of them is the emperor moth just as it's emerging from its cocoon. If you were ever to observe the small moth forcing its way out of its shell, you would probably end up being there watching for several hours, as its progress is often very slow. So slow that you would begin to think that the moth had gotten stuck, as if it was actually losing in the struggle to get out. Well, one time an amateur bug lover wanted to see what would happen if he helped them out through their struggle. So he grabbed a pair of scissors and snipped off the remaining of the cocoon. Of course the moth emerged easily. But its body was swollen and small and its wings were wrinkled and shriveled. In fact, the little moth spent the rest of its life crawling around with those shriveled wings. You see, it was never able to fly. The man didn't understand that the struggle was required for the moth to get through that tiny opening was necessary to force fluid from the body of the moth into its wings so that it would be ready for flight. You see freedom and flight only come after the struggle. By depriving the marks of a struggle the man deprived the moth of health. Sometimes struggles are exactly what we need in life. Without them we will never become as strong as what we could. The only time that struggles harm us is when we try to resist. It's been said that God never promises to remove us from our struggles. He does promise however to change the way we look at them. Philippians chapter 3 verse 14. Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus.